So in population genetics, sometimes we have to calculate relative fitness of different genotypes, R phenotypes, and also selection coefficient. These are two well-known parameters of population genetics, particularly the phenomenon of selection is concerned with these two aspects, that is relative fitness and selection coefficient. This relative fitness, which is indicated by letter W, can be calculated by using this simple formula, that is number of particular genotype divided by that specific number of genotype which is highest. Once again I am repeating this uh, simple formula which is used to calculate relative fitness that is number of a particular genotype divided by highest number of a genotype and the other parameter that is selection coefficient can be calculated by simply using the formula 1 minus w that is if we have obtained the values of relative fitness then those values will be subtracted from 1 and that will give the value of selection coefficient which is indicated by yes selection coefficient is actually the uh, extent of deleterious effect of a particular genotype Okay, so we can understand these two parameters, their calculation by considering this example. Suppose uh, there is a simple question that a population is composed of the equal numbers of genotypes, capital AA, capital A small a, and small a small a. It means a specific locus is being represented by two alleles. And due to that, three genotypes are possible. That is capital AA, capital A small a, and small a small a. Now the offspring produced by these three genotypes are 900, 996, and 224. What are the relative fitness of these three genotypes? So we have to calculate the relative fitness of these three genotypes. To calculate this, the relative fitness of genotype capital AA will be 900 because 900 offspring are of capital AA types divided by 996 because 996 is the highest number of a specific genotype and that genotype is heterozygote capital A small a. So whatever is the highest number of genotype or phenotype in those cases where phenotype number is given that will be used as denominator. So a specific genotype number that is capital AA 900 divided by 996 this value comes 0 0.9 this becomes the relative fitness of capital AA genotype. Another genotype capital A small a its number is 996 this will be divided by 996 and this value comes 1. And a small a small a genotype, its number is 224. This will also be divided by 996 and the value comes 0 0.22. So this way we come to know the relative fitness or W value of these three genotypes. Once these values are available, relative fitness values are available, we can calculate the selection coefficient of these three genotypes. Selection coefficient calculation is quite easy. I just told you that it can be calculated by using the formula 1 minus W. So the relative fitness of capital AA is 0 0.9 and if this value is subtracted from 1, then it will come 0 0.1. So selection coefficient of capital AA genotype is 0 0.1 and the selection coefficient of heterozygote capital A small a will be 0 because its uh, relative fitness is 1. So 1 minus W 
that will be equal to 0 and relative fitness of third genotype small a a will be 1 minus 0.22 this will come 0 0.78 as I said selection coefficient indicates the deleterious effect of a specific genotype so this capital a a genotype it leaves its uh, deleterious effect 10 percent the other one a heterozygote does not leave any deleterious effect it means this genotype is quite good for survival of individuals and the small AA types they have very high uh, selection coefficient value it means the deleterious nature of this genotype is very much it is nearly 78 percent because this value comes 0 0.78 so this is the way you can calculate relative fitness of a specific genotype or phenotype and selection coefficient of such genotypes.